The SNAP program is an option for kids who end up at the juvenile probation department. It's a diversion program. Basically, it allows the low risk and low level juvenile offenders to avoid going deeper into the system by choosing to take part in the program. It's about to expand into schools. In 2022, Chloe Carrillo was struggling and so was AJ Jones. Their relationships with their families were strained and they needed help. Honestly, um, hmm. I was going through some things at the time and I had been put on probation. They were said this is an option that would help um, just like skill building to conflict resolution. Both teens ended up in the SNAP program. It's a six week program where kids like Chloe and AJ and their parents can work together on improving communication and conflict management. So it does seem short, but the change is transformational um, in those six weeks. Bree Warner coordinates the SNAP program and has been running each cohort of participants since the program was piloted 18 months ago. I love the blank slate that that first day has of just like, these kids are coming to us and they get to start fresh. They get to just come and be loved and supported. During each two hour meeting, there's time for connection, learning, discussion and mentoring. SNAP teaches topics like conflict resolution, anger response and relationship building. And this isn't just about the kids. Parents are required to participate. And that's an important piece because in many cases, everyone in the family can use help. What we've found so far in the last 18 months is most of these kids, they're great kids. And they have, they have parents who care, but they have some issues. Like there's some, some internal issues. They have some inner conflicts and they're, they don't have the tools to process them in a healthy ways. So it comes out and it's channeled in unhealthy ways. AJ is not a man of many words. He and his mom had been struggling to communicate. I didn't know how to like talk to her. Now, thanks to the SNAP program, both feel more supported and happier. It was helpful and it was healing. I would say it, it, it healed our relationship. For Chloe. With me being a teenager, I, I didn't have the best relationship with my parents. SNAP helped her build a better relationship with her mom. It was like, I'm not the only one. And, and that was like the greatest feeling ever because I felt like, I feel like when, when I don't have a good relationship with my mom, I feel like that, that like makes me a bad daughter. But like, it doesn't. And I know that now. According to leaders at the St. Joseph County Juvenile Justice Center, 62 kids and their families have gone through the program. It has an 87% success rate, meaning 87% of the kids who've gone through the program have not re-entered the system. In fact, 11 families have asked to continue and take part in more sessions. The JJC executive director told WSBT, the SNAP program is helpful because it is family based and pulls the family together. So I felt like in um, the SNAP program that I found a support system. Erica Fowler, AJ's mom, says both she and her son learned about each other and about themselves. It made me proud, you know, and then I seen a lot of myself. I seen a lot of growth in him, but also growth in myself too. And Dion Carrillo, Chloe's mom, just like that we we're all going through it. Learned they're not alone. This program helped us to find different ways that we could kind of play off each other's strengths and weaknesses and you know, like the taking a break thing and like that's okay, it's okay to not be okay sometimes. Now, nearly two years after entering the probation system, these families are starting this new year in a happier, better place and they're doing it together. This is one of the most safest places I know. Definitely one of the most safest places I know. Right now, referrals come from the probation department, but thanks to new funding from the legislature, soon schools will be able to refer kids, preferably before they end up in the system. In the studio, Kristen Bean, WSBT 22 News.